Hi, Mark Gordon on New Year's Eve with a gold silver spider report. Uh, this is the GLD, uh, the gold ETF, and uh, we had a nice day on Friday, up 1.1% uh, on a gap uh, in the morning, and um, came up against uh, this uh, prior uh, now overhead resistance line here, the previous low at 154.19 here. Um, but nonetheless, uh, uh, this uh, uh, was a welcome sign to get a little bit of uh, uh, up movement uh, after um, a couple of uh, three uh, trading days of heavy selling here. And uh, we were, did come in on light volume, not a great sign, but to be expected uh, in light holiday trading. And uh, this chart is not looking too good for the bulls. Uh, we are well below this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and uh, well below uh, the green dotted line, the 100-day moving average, and even below the 200-day moving average. So nothing to get excited about yet uh, here in gold. Um, we could be testing a, a bottom here. We'll just have to see. But right now, we are in a downtrend. Uh, this uh, high here was lower than this previous high here. And uh, this uh, low here was taken out uh, the other day, uh, made a fresh low here. So all um, uh, intermediate and short-term uh, trends are down right now. We broke out of this triangle pattern here. Um, we had another triangle forming here, thought we were going to uh, maybe get a resolution to the upside, but that did not happen. We broke to the downside in heavy volume. So uh, gold uh, shaken up here. Uh, let's see what 2012 brings us. And flipping now to a weekly chart of the GLD, you can see the trouble that we're in, cracking through the 200-day moving average. Uh, actually, here in the weekly, it's, it was represented by the 40-week moving average. And uh, cracking through that, something we haven't done in quite some time here, uh, in, in fact, in all of 2011 and uh, most of 2010. So um, on a weekly chart, not looking good as well. And you can see this red line. This is the four-week moving average, and it is diving, uh, taking out uh, the 40-week moving average here. Uh, and crossing uh, uh, the uh, 10 week up here, the blue line. So nothing, nothing good about this chart at all. And flipping now to silver, this is the SLV. Nothing to get excited about here either. Uh, losing about a half a percent on Friday. And um, it came up off the bottom that it made on Thursday. But uh, taking out the 2741 that we made back here in September, uh, not a great, uh, great thing here. Um, of course, uh, the uh, short-term uh, trend is down, and we broke out of this triangle pattern to the downside. Uh, we were forming this, hopefully, to get a resolution to the upside. That did not happen, so uh, intermediate-term trend is down, too. Um, you'll look and see that um, uh, we are well below the 200-day, which is this blacked out line. We're below the 100-day, the 50-day, the blue line, and the red uh, line, 21-day moving average. So below all the key moving averages uh, and they're all rolling over and either um, slightly uh, flat with a downward bias or uh, a downward slope here. So <coughs> silver looking weak here. I wanted to add that silver did lose 10.21% uh, in 2011 uh, versus the 10.1% uh, uh, gain for gold. So silver lagging. Of course, silver was the uh, the star of early 2011, peaking here at 48.35 on the SLV, and almost $50 on, uh, in the spot uh, silver price. Had a heck of a run here, uh, right out of the gate uh, in early uh, 2011, and peaked out. And it's been a struggle ever since. Uh, the last half of the year has just been a sideways choppy market, and then a big break here in September. And now it uh, looks like we broke down again. So uh, silver uh, looking uh, bad on a weekly chart as well, losing 4.74% for the week. And looking at a monthly chart of silver, uh, we're down 15.42% on the month, taking out and closing below this 20-month moving average. Uh, not a good sign. Um, uh, Longer-term traders will look at this and uh, say, uh, you know, this, uh, this um, closing below the 20-month uh, is a very negative sign, uh, which silver has not done that. And we have to go all the way back here into in early 2009 to see uh, a, a close below that. So hopefully silver can right itself and, uh, and get back up above that. But um, in my opinion, this is no market to be long in right now. Uh, of course, silver did break out of this cup with a handle base uh, at about um, uh, almost $20 here and ran uh, more than doubling here in, in uh, 
you know in in about a year here uh, so um, <clears throat> silver does have a lot of power once it starts moving to the upside but uh, right now the trend is down and here is a chart of the uh, SPY SPY the uh, S&P 500 uh, ETF and uh, losing about a half a percent on Friday and um, uh, staying above this upper trend line here uh, we broke through this here uh, early last week and have been uh, managing to stay above it volume has been very very light uh, in this holiday trading period but uh, consolidation is a nice thing um, <clears throat> the chart on uh, the uh, SPY is much better than the metals of course we're getting support here now at this black dotted line which is the 200 day moving average and we are above the uh, 50 day moving average the blue line as well also above the red line the 21 day moving average and also above this green dotted line which is the 100 day moving average and these are all pointed up um, uh, in, uh, actually the 200 day moving average is flat and maybe uh, gonna start pointing up here uh, so um, much better looking chart uh, we did sort of uh, have this triangle formation here that we did break through to the upside not on a lot of power not a very convincing move here but nonetheless a much stronger chart uh, than the metals and if you look at a weekly chart of the S&P 500 we can see what a tough year it's been we started out the year in a nice uptrend here which uh, carried over from uh, 2010 and then kind of stalled out, um, uh, barely uh, eking out a, a new high here, and uh, just kind of a lot of sideways action. And then we broke down very heavily uh, in the late summer here and uh, rallied up off the bottom nice and strong uh, in October and now have been kind of waffling sideways here. S&P 500 closing almost exactly flat for the year, no loss, no gain. Um, on a weekly chart you can see that we are above this black dotted line which is the 40 week moving average and above uh, all the key moving averages here so um, <clears throat> S&P 500 may be poised uh, to make a move uh, here in uh, 2012 so have a happy and safe uh, new year everybody and uh, we'll see you in the new year